Hello everyone and welcome back. Last time, I said I wasn't going to record anymore because I didn't think there was much to do after talking to chatters and doing our chores and being disappointed that Mabel's store is still building. But apparently Tom Nook has more things for us to do. So what we're going to do is first talk to him. Gosh, it's so hard getting on those chairs sometimes. Oh, wait. There's another ceremony too. Of our new incline. Really? We're celebrating an incline. But Chatter should be there, right? Yes. Okay, everyone's clapping for the incline. Gosh, Paolo and Marina are like the most pink people I have ever seen, I have to say. Oh, hi, Agnes. Sup, Snuffle. Okay, Agnes. Okay. Now that we got the ceremony over with, let's go. Oh, what about my home? I want to expand. Fine then, Tom Nook. What should I do? Yes, yes, I'll explain the last major task for Project K then. We started gathering feedback from folks on and off the island. Our focus right now should be... Improving the image of the island and gaining that all-important word-of-mouth marketing. I've asked Isabel to assist with collating the feedback, so talk to her for the latest information. I think Isabel will have some good pointers on how we can improve the island's image as well. In short, we need to increase our population, improve the island's scenery, and turn number 6-9 into the most charming island it can be. Infrastructure is important, but let's plant flowers and use decorations to make this place look snazzy. Well then, thanks for your help. Oh gosh, that seems like a large task. I don't have much money, Tom Nook. You're the one who's making me into debt, you know. Oh, gentlemen, good morning. Well, of course. As Mr. Nook mentioned, I'm leading a task force that compiles feedback related to the image of our island. Okay, it's just me, though I always wanted a task force of my very own. Anyway, I won't bore you with the details now, but feel free to ask me about island evaluations anytime. Now then, how can I help you today? Let's talk island evals. Not evaluations, evals. Oh, wonderful. It seems you're as excited to hear about the image of our island as I am to talk about it. Well, allow me to explain how the task force, that's me, collects and analyzes the data for my reports. First, I conduct random polling around the island with residents, visitors, and tourists. Their feedback is then ranked using the well-known 5-star system. The better the balance of natural beauty, development, and decor, the more stars the island receives. That means we need more residents and buildings, proper infrastructure, and well-decorated natural setting. Easy enough, right? But if we can achieve that perfect balance and welcoming environment, our ranking is bound to rise. As it stands, we currently have a 1-star rating. Folks are feeling like we can still have room for improvement. Allow me to read an excerpt from the feedback that I gathered. You know what? I should be offended that our island's one star, but if I think about it as a Michelin star, then I'm proud. I'm just saying. I like how there aren't any ghosts around. It's a place where free spirits like me can just be free. Is that Wisp? 
Well, there you have it. Hmm? It seems like every piece of feedback we receive is from the same poli. And while I'm happy to hear they enjoyed themselves, we need more residents to get some word of mouth going about our island if we want a higher rating. For now, I suggest we focus on growing our population and gathering more varied feedback. If we want to increase the number of residents, first we need to prepare some land to sell. Once we have all of that in order, we can recruit folks to move here. I suggest you visit Tom Nook's counter and ask him about island infrastructure. I'm sure he'd be happy to help you set aside land to sell. And there you have it. Just let me know next time you'd hear the latest island feedback. Can I help you with anything else? Nope. Okay, so maybe I'll find a new home too. But first... Ah yes, yes, I have something to tell you, gentlemen. It's about our campsite. Waiting for visitors is okay, but maybe you're interested in taking a more proactive approach? If so, you can use Amiibo to invite guests to the campsite with a new service I've added. You can access the service via the Nook Stop. It works with an Animal Crossing character's Amiibo. I don't have any of those, Tom Nook, sorry. Oh well. Okay, I am nowhere near paying off all my loans. Okay, let's see. How much should I put in? Hmm... What's today, Friday? You know what, I'll save our money for Daisy May. Now what's there to shop though? That's the question. A cypress plant. Ooh. It does look quite pretty. So think about it. Oh, hmm. I like it. Yes. Ah, uh, why not? Okay, I don't know if I have a brick fence. I'm pretty sure I have a corral fence. Let me check. It really should tell me if I bought something or not. Okay, fences. Corral fence, vertical board fence, country fence, barbed wire fence, simple wooden fence. Brick fence, okay. I already got those fences then. Now what should I get? Pretty sure I already got one of you, and you, and you, and you. Okay, I'll save my um, sustainable energy goals for a while. So all of these I'll get later so that I don't buy any duplicates. I really want to get rid of these. I wonder if I can buy all of these, actually. I might just be able to buy all of those, just so I can get them out of the way.
Okay, I doubt I'll have enough, but we can be close. Okay, now I'm too poor to afford anything else. Alrighty. I can't start banking all those things and just decorate the area so it all looks nice. Oh, Paolo, you scared me. Okay, donate it to the museum that's off center. Ah, oh, I really should. I really should fix it. Blathers? Blathers! Oops. I have to assess my fossils first. A Diplo skull, an ammonite, and an echo torso. Please. Okay, I think I already saw this. Oh. What's up, gentlemen? Hey, so did I hear right? You're trying to drum up some hype for number 6-9 Snuffle? I hope so. I wouldn't be able to brag to everyone that I was here before number 6-9 got big. Hyping up sounds like a ton of work, though. You really do a lot for this place. Actually, I got something that I think might help. Ooh. Right, so it's not huge or anything, but showing it off would be a sweet cone. Or showing off a sweet comb be so cool? I'll, I don't know. What am I saying? Of course it'll be cool. Yeah, just trust me. Like, I trust me on this, so you should too. A cone? Really? Okay. Well, thank you, Agnes. At least someone's trying to help. Paolo. Nope, selling. Okay, let me just go double check what this dinosaur supposedly looks like. I mean, it's nice, but 
Не. I'm just going to sell it. Okay, last thing I want to do is check the southern beach because Gulliver might be there. I'm not sure. Gulliver is said to be pretty common, but I don't see him very often. I don't know if it's just me or if or if all the time skippers are inflating the possibility because Gulliver does not show up very often, honestly. Okay, I'll put you in storage for now. Alrighty, guys. This episode is not as long it's actually quite short. It's only like half to one third of a regular episode, but there wasn't much to do because, well, there was more to do compared to last episode because uh, Tom Nook wanted us to improve the island. Uh, we did the kiosk, to donate some fossils, and all that's left to do is the chores, but I'll just do that off camera so I don't bore anyone. But anyways, guys, thank you for joining me today. And hopefully, Mabel's shop is open tomorrow, among other um, things to do. Maybe we'll get a new visitor. I don't know. But thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.